have over 660 stores all the way from Maine to California, and uh, it makes for a really good road trip if you ever want to go on one. Cracker Barrel is like coming home. We want it to feel this is a place that you are comfortable in, that you feel warmth. Our process starts 400 days in advance. We put together the macro trends and what is happening in our business, what's working, sometimes what's not, what meets the financial metrics. And we need to be on the floor this time period. The state of the world has thrown a few monkey wrenches into that. And thankfully, the Port of Savannah has been really good at communicating with my team. And so we're logistically making some changes to how we put the freight on board in foreign countries to get it here on time. So we'll make all our merchandising decisions and all our buying decisions based on when does that freight need to be on board and get here in our DCs so that we can distribute it to the stores. We've had a fantastic relationship with Georgia Port and we weren't always 660 stores. We started smaller and the Georgia Port started smaller. It's been really neat to see them grow, add capacity, and we've grown and added capacity. It seems that no matter how big either one of us have gotten, we both appreciate the relationship, what we mean to each other, and that open line of communication. I think that's what helps us circumvent some of these situations that could become logistic nightmares because we tackle the problems, find creative solutions that may not have existed pre-2020 or 2021. I mean, who would have thought that we could have done some direct from port shipments, but we were willing to try it and they were willing to entertain the conversation. All our problems are not behind us and I'm sure there's gonna be a mountain of things coming at us. It is maintaining those open lines of communication that is so important and it's the faith that we have in this relationship that it will continue to happen that makes us invested in it. We're not the biggest fish out there, we know that, but the Georgia port makes us feel like we're the biggest fish, and for that, we are very thankful for. We look forward to continuing to grow with them.